Wish there was something exciting and new. Something that would start on time. Something for us to do. Because the thought of nothing makes me sad and Right here? Well, what are we gonna do? Whatever tickles my nose. Set the bar low. Everything's gonna be a breeze. This is our hype of money. Well, you can't, you can't fall asleep, man. You can't fall asleep. We gotta do, let's do a show about a high school that's never lost. All of a sudden, somebody blows it, and they gotta, you know, figure out how to be winners again. That's literally all we have to do. Well, I think it's gonna be a wonderful. It's gonna be wonderful, man. It's gonna be a scene. We'll make up every scene. Not the worst or the best. It's something in between. When you row your own boat. When you row your own boat. Life is but a dream. We're delusional. Yeah. Whew. Okay, we gotta get started. We really gotta get started. I know, you know, just go. You're, you know, you're good. You're, you're actually okay. I can do this part myself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Something Show. I am so happy to have you all here with us this week. Um, I want to point out a few things about the Something Show before we dive right into it. A little background about how this show works, how we do what we do, how we arrive at the things that you are about to see tonight. The Something Show is an entirely somewhat improvised show where there's no script. I want to lay that out there right now. At no point do we sit down and write lines for the characters to say. What we like to say is that it's been rehearsed but not scripted. So we've run the scenes a few times at this point and said, oh, we like that, but oh, we don't like that. And we've run the show a few times and we said, these parts were good and these parts were not so good. And we've kind of through collaboration and improv settled at some general ideas out of what to do. But at no point we're like, well, we have a script and you have to memorize this. It's not about memorizing anything. In fact, we've memorized pretty much nothing you're going to see tonight. All the lines that you're going to hear be the first time the characters say them. All the situations and the wacky stuff they get into, they might have an idea of what might be funny or what might not, or what might be good or what might not be good. But when it gets down to it, it's all improvised. And then there's some musical breaks. So that being said, tonight's show is called Bleachers of Passion. We find ourselves in the Midwest. We find ourselves in a town called Winnington. And in Winnington, winning means everything. And there's the town of East Winnington, and there's the town of West Winnington. And would you believe it, they both have an undefeated record. They've never lost a game ever, these high schools. And we start with our high school losing their first game of all time. And that's really bad because they're about to show down in the East versus West championship game, the biggest game of all time. Nothing like it has ever been attempted before, and we're going to see the buildup to that tonight. As a quick aside, I want to say thank you for bearing with us. The entire show that you see tonight was conceived, written, rehearsed, produced in one week, and sometimes one week is not quite enough time, and it looks like this week we needed one week and 40 minutes to get the show together, so I appreciate you all hanging in there. Without any further ado, I would like to sit invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy Bleachers of Passion. The final play of the game. And High School East is down by one. But the ball is in the right man's hands. It's in Ricky, the captain's hands, and it looks like he's gonna go for it even though Zach is open on the block. I'm gonna go for it! It's alright, it always works out. Oh, and he goes, he scoops through the air, scoop a dupes, and he slips? What? 
<sighs> Folks, I do not know what to say. <laughs> Coach is having a heart attack. Coach! The first game ever lost by High School East. What will become of them? Man, I don't know if I can go through with today's practice. After what just happened, oh, what's the point? Why should we practice for anything at all? We lost the game. First one ever. I lost the game. Coach is in a coma. We can't live in Winnington anymore. There was a town hall meeting last night. What? We're going to change it to Loserville. Oh, no. It's all my fault, Zach. What am I going to do? My mom packed my favorite chicken fingers today. Uh-huh. You know what they tasted like? What? Loser. No. <laughs> Zach, I just, you know, it's never happened before. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to finish the season do and without stretches. coach? Just do your stretches. I can't do stretches now. We don't know anything but sport. And we might be losers now, but you have to keep stretching. If you say so, man. Just. Why didn't you pass it to me? I was open. Oh, come on. Don't start with it. I, I was as open as it. a Chinese restaurant at 3 a.m. Yeah, you know? I know. The one we used to go to? Yeah, down on 5th, I know. I got sick a lot. You know, but not nearly as sick as I got after I missed that shot. And I'm sorry. Okay? Let's just get ready for practice. The new coach is supposed to be coming. Sup, dudes? Ugh. I guess it really isn't hard to imagine how you lost last night. I'm skating circles around you right now. Oh, you know what? I don't need to hear this from Gunther Wonderbread, hey, all right? My name's Mike Abernathy. Oh, it was. My father is Lieutenant Michael Abernathy. Yeah, hey, Honest He has his own Abernathy. airline. Honest Abernathy, you synthesized any new substances lately? <laughs> yes. Huh? Discovered the secrets of the universe? Almost. <laughs> yeah. I can crack the code on sublimation. Hey, you see these red ants? Watch out for these. What the hell, Wonderbread? That's Why a did dangerous you... strand. Is that why you've been collecting ants outside of the school all day? Yeah. I they're dweeb. All over Whatever, the Whatever, don't touch me. I came by here today, you fascist piglets, because Science Club needs some new recruits. Oh, boy. Why don't we join the Girl Scouts while we're at it? Easy. You know, we wouldn't need you boneheads if they didn't cut funding to Science Club for the third year in a row. I'm the only guy in the club now. Yeah, we wouldn't have to call you Gunter Wonderbread if you didn't bring white bread to school every single day. Do you know how bad that Ooh, stuff is? It's going to feed the ducks. Oh, how many loaves you got today, Gunter? Well, I don't want to talk. Five. Bring oh, a yeah. And a Yu-Gi-Oh deck that will knock your socks hey, off. I can, I can tell by your tries that you don't get seven whole grains every day. Mm -mm. Whatever. Drop by. Maybe you'll learn something, you fascists. Remember to stay in line, Benicio Musacchini, Rudolph Bittler. Out of here. E equals MC loser. <laughs> Dude. Man, that guy is weird. I hate that guy. Yeah. Like dark alley him. at night. Weird. I would hit him really hard. Mm -hmm. I wasn't such a loser. Oh, come on. Don't start with it, Zach. What's the point? Sportsmanship is ruined. You're well, damn right it is. How's it going, babe? How you doing? Hey. I could be better if I wasn't dating the biggest loser to ever happen, probably in the entire universe. Birdie, I'd imagine. come on. Do you, uh, do you understand the extent of what you just did last week? Well, yeah, I lost our first game in history. I think I understand, Birdie. I don't need to hear it from you. I don't think you understand. Maybe he's a visual learner. Should I uh, reenact it for you? No. I'm guys, open. I'm, I'm no. wide open. Oh, I got the oh, shot. Oh, oh I'm caught. I'm choking and going into a coma because of you. Oh. Oh. It's Birdie, that's actually not cool. Yeah. What the hell? Kid, listen. I can't be seen. The bunch of losers. Oh, come on, Bernie. I don't practice with my team, my very, very, very successful cheer uh -huh, team, yeah. three times a day saying, win, 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 if you don't win. Well, maybe next time you should, you know, pump us up a little bit better because, you know, you guys were looking a little flat that day. Oh. Saying you don't take cheerleaders seriously? No, you guys do your No one takes stuff. cheerleaders seriously! Okay, well next time I herky, 
No, I'm not hurricane for you. What? You know what? Fine. That's fine, Birdie. Why don't you go tweet up a tree? Birdie, out. Bye bye, Birdie. Bye. Hey, hey man, what are you doing? That's my girl, all right? You watch it. I don't need this, man. You need to get insecure. You guys not been porking lately? What's the deal? Okay, listen. Oh the pork hey, give me the little... deets, loser. <sighs> it's, it's been a little salted lately, all right? Just lay off it. Do you guys use barbecue sauce? Oh, you forgot napkins. Well, it happened. All, all right. right. Cram it, dick biscuits. Excuse Cram me. it. Who are you? And behold, your new coach. You're the new coach. What? Yeah, that's what? right. Hey, don't look in my eyes. Do what he says. You want to look in my eyes, you better be a winner. Only winners can look in these eyes. The eyes of a winner. What? Aren't you the coach for the other school? Was the coach from the other school, but now they're paying me millions and billions of dollars to whip you ninnies into shape after your big loss. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching the other day. I saw your performance. You're getting real soft, Ricky. Hey, 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 I'm gonna make you hey, real hard, hard Ricky. What? I said I'm gonna make you hard, Ricky. I'm gonna make you hard. Like hardened? Yeah. I'm gonna oh. toughen you up. Oh, okay, yeah. What do you think I meant? Uh, You're a freak. You're a freak, man. What do you think about your teammates, huh? Um, I uh. I don't know. Lately, I've 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 been losing some respect. Yeah. Yeah, like they that? uh. Sometimes I think about them like in dresses and stuff, and mm -hmm. like I think about them putting on makeup at my house. Yeah, with they're me. real pretty, right? They're real good looking. Yeah. Bunch of pretty ladies. But I they're not good at sport. Damn right. No ladies is good at sport. What do we do? What do we do? You guys just gotta start getting into shape. Hey, do ten pusher bumpers. I don't Pusher, pusher bump bumpers. I don't want a pusher bumper. Do a pusher bumper. Oh. Ten pusher bumpers. Don't do pusher bumpers. Oh, come on, you can you're gonna do, do a pusher bumper. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on, strength, strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twiddle those fingers a little more. Why don't you? Oh, come on, that's enough, Let new coach. I'm no, getting no, no. real He's sore, coach. Yet. Coach. He's I, not done yet. You know, I just. Yeah, I don't. Maybe that's I, what I'm I cramping like up. I'm, I'm, coach, I'm come cramping on. up. Just. All right, you're done. You're weak. You're weak and you're done. You're done and you're weak. Get out of my sight. <sighs> all right. Well, I got a lot of work to do with this one. You, you're all right. I can tell you got a real appreciation for aesthetic beauty, and I like that. Thank I you. I like that in a play. Thank you, coach. All right. Your chin is very defined. Hey. I agree. <laughs> all right. Now get out of my sight, boys. That new coach keeps up what he's doing. We're not gonna win anything. Yeah, We're just gonna okay. be crying and feeling abused and crying. That'll make you feel a little bit better. Uh, hey, hey, Dad, it's Ricky. He locked the door again. I still don't have a key. I can, I can let myself in. Oh, gonna you know. be one of these nights, huh? One of these nights, huh, Ricky? Hey. Yeah, come on in, come on in. Hey, Dad. Sorry. See you're uh, in the pouch there. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, well, I had a real tough day at work today, son. So. Uh. <clears throat> so before you open, big stupid mouth. Just make sure it's something good, all right? <laughs> I don't want any bad news. No more bad news. Dad. What do you know about how I lost the big game. Yeah, you blew it. You completely blew it. Disgraced our entire family line. Winningtons wow. have been winning in this town for years, and you blew it. You blew it, Ricky. You need to remind me on a day like this. Go. Oh. Dad, just, just take it easy on the, the pouch, all right? You know, you're... Don't tell me what to do. I wasn't... I, I, it was just a suggestion. Hey, if I want to soak up the sun, then you ain't going to stop me. Dad, I just... Son. I'm getting really stressed. Yeah. With all the problems I have and with the game and... What kind of problems are you having with the game? I'm worried about not getting the scholarship, Dad. 
worried about not getting the scholarship. Oh, no, 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 Ricky, I don't think you understand. You have to win that scholarship. Well, Dad, I'm going to try. No, 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 no. There is no try, Ricky. There is only winning and there is losing. And there are winners and there are losers. And you're looking like a real loser right now, son. Oh, yeah, well, what happened when you twanged your knee at your last sports match? Don't you bring that up right now. Dad, I was a Dad, middle school uh, sports uh, star. I played better sport than any other sportsman of that age. I, I, and then I tore my Hercules tendon. Sure. Yeah, now I can't walk. That's great. Well, Thanks for reminding me I, on my sorry, bad Dad. day, son. Listen, Dad, I'm sorry, y'all. Try to get the scholarship, no, okay? No, you will get the scholarship. Your ass is going to the factories. Understand that? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go <laughs> bounce some hoops and dribble some goals or something. Darn right, son. Darn right. From the lips of an angel, saying those words, it sounds so sweet. I sound hear your voice saying my name. New coach? Uh, oh. I, sorry, ah, I didn't mean to interrupt. Zach. I know this, this is, is your... my special yeah. time. This is my special time. Please don't come in here Were you during singing? my special time. You were singing no, a song. No, I was not singing a song. I do not sing. Sportsmen do not sing. We win. <sighs> New coach. It was beautiful. You really mean that? I mean it. It was beautiful. Who is she? <laughs> oh. Like her? She's real pretty, right? She's beautiful. Real, real pretty. That's my daughter, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? You're a pig. And she's uh, she's disgusting. she's ugly. She's the most disgusting woman I've ever seen. You watch what you say about my daughter, you son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't hit me. Kiss my shoes. <laughs> Kiss my shoe. Do I have to? Kiss my shoe. I saw you step in dew. Yeah. That's why, because I knew you were going to be lipping off today. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That's real good. Real good. Now, what do you want today? Zach, what do you want? Well, we were talking about my teammates the other day. I was thinking more and more about how they look like tiny little animals to me these days, like little rabbits and squirrels that I just want to hold and cuddle, yeah, real but cute. not play sport with. No, no, no sport with bunnies. Something I want to pet and love and nurture and feed every day, but not yeah. like push into the mud and shoot goals with and dribble pucks. I mean, I've done it, but... I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it. What I'm getting at is, I think I'm going to quit the team. I think I'm going to leave East. You're quitting sport? No, you not can't quit sport, Zach. You're too good. And I'm not quitting sport. Sport is my whole life. Yeah. But ever since my mom and dad separated, my mom's been living in West. And she knows the administration at the school there. I can get a spot on their team. I can be a winner again. Let me get this straight. You're leaving my team to go over to my old team at West. With a perfect record. I can be a winner again. God, that's smart. Damn, I wish I had thought of that. You think so? Oh, much better team. You're not mad? Much better team over at West. These little losers at East, you can't be playing with the likes of those chumps. You gotta go play with some real sportsmen over at West. If I, if I could, I'd join you, but they are paying me billions of dollars to be here right now. Billions. Billions of dollars. You understand that kind of money? I was wondering I why they stopped putting water out of the water fountains. That's why. Hey, you ever notice there's no textbooks in your science class? That's me. We don't really have- That's me. I built my whole house out of textbooks. We don't even really have teachers or classes anymore. No. Not anymore, you just got me, baby. But uh, you made a wise decision, I think, to switch over. I think that team's really gonna challenge you and 
push you to the next level of sportsmanship? I've been thinking. There's no point to sportsmanship if you're not winning. Exactly right. See, you got the right attitude. You got to do whatever it takes Anything? to win. Anything at all. Maiming, poisoning, slaughtering. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Thanks, new coach. Of course. <laughs> what a neat bonfire! <laughs> I love the, the rally bonfire. Uh, oh, that makes me spirited. Hey, going, Ricky, Rick? just the guy I wanted to see. You doing, man? Are you feeling better? Oh, this I'm is all for you, great. man. I'm this trying to cheer you up. This is so much. I can't thank you guys enough. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, we don't need to remind you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I hope you're having a good time. I'm having yeah. a great time. Sorry. I couldn't get uh, very many people to do concessions. It was a last minute thing oh, with those gypsies, but oh, later we can go get our names engraved in that orangutan leather anyway, It'll if you want. Yeah, do the school okay. cheer around the fire. Mm -hmm. oh. How are you feeling? You've not been very good at all your bumble grumplers in practice lately. You know, I'm, I've been feeling off, but now I'm feeling better. I'm, I'm feeling it, you know? Good. Shoot that puck, man. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Zach. How's it going, Zach? Hey, guys. How you doing, man? You, uh, not too bad. Feeling good? You up to your co-captainly duties? Yeah. Yeah? We're co-captains, aren't we? Yeah, we've always been co-captains, man. You're my bud. Hey, Zach. I don't want to say much to you. I just want to say what you did has hurt my feelings, and it was really me. What? You know, I don't show East, my sense of side often. Dwayne, what are you talking about? What happened? You know, in East, they always like to split the powers about teamwork, about cooperation. Yeah, teamwork is success. I've been promoted. <laughs> Up to West. No. <sighs> Zach, this is unforgivable. I'm the captain of Speechless. West Winterton's. The captain? The oh. sole captain. The Winterton's. Oh, no. I got a boat. That's how <gasps> a boat? I'm the captain. Friday's they gave be a me doozy. a boat. Oh which We're screwed. Screwed. No. Ricky, what are we going to do? You know what? Don't worry about it. Go on, get out of here, Zach. You don't, you don't belong here, are man. You, are you sure? Have fun with your bonfire, kids. We can work if that will keep you on the team. I'll see you next week at the big game. Ricky, he looks strung out. Do you think he's experimenting with pot? I don't know. He could be. Jeez, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, Ricky. Ricky. Don't worry about Zach. Oh. Oh. It was a hey, joke! But once it was enough, man, I got it out of my sleep. Cool, oh, man! Yeah, I, really <laughs> God, God. I believe in you, Ricky! Come on, dude. We're the best team around. We got this! We got this! Let's dribble some goals and balls and touchdown. We got this! We got this! Oh. Here! Hey, and you know what? what? High, High school sports is all, all we'll care, care about, about when we're grown, grown up. up. So we better win. That's the spirit, guys. Yeah. You know what? Let's get pumped. Let's get way pumped. One, two, three, four. Let's see if you got some more. Five, six, seven, eight. God is good. Sports are great. Two, forty-two. Two, forty, blue. Cow goes moo. Ghost goes poo. Fight, 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 team, fight. Fight for your right to parlay! Yeah! You up, 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 down! Tackle my king, king but don't, don't drop the ground! Win, win, win! Win, team, win! Two, four, six, six! Who do we appreciate? Ricky, 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 Ricky! Woo! Man! Wow, Ricky! I think I'm in love with you! Hey! Okay. Back off! Let's put it for folks and wake them up out of this coma. Right, Zach. Oh, hey, Zach's back. <laughs> of course, man. Zach is back. I'm not that was a really cute cheer. I remember when we used to do that. Yeah? You helped write it. You might remember. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll make sure we say it at the big team. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. You know what? Go 
we settle something before the big game. I challenge you to a scrimmage. What? A scrimmage? Yeah. A scrimmage, yeah. And you know what? Let's raise the stakes. <gasps> uh-huh. You bring one of your best, baddest girlfriends from the West. I know exactly who to bring. 2v1, I'll take you both down. We could do it in my what? dad's big ass backyard. All right. There's deal. a grill. Yeah. We can play some croquet maybe before. Yeah. You know, like we used to do when you would sleep over. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. Um. Wait, do you still like those cheese sticks? Yeah, the, uh, the, the pepper jack ones, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll get some of those. That'd be awesome. You guys still hate each other, right? Yeah, screw you, bud. Yes! Dude, you're going hey, yeah. to get pork! Yeah! What you got? Ricky's all talk. He can't score a goal. He's lost it. No, no, no. He's the shame of the town. Can't trust him at all. He's lost it. Make him stop. Ricky, I can't wait till your next bogey. Bogey? Give up all your hope for the state trophy. Oh. going to win that trophy. Tell him. You dead me! I couldn't stand being co-captains with a poser. You dead me! Birdie! Birdie! I should punish you so disloyal. Yeah, get the horse whip! I can't wait for the big game to destroy ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, stop. we'll see, Zach. So much you know what? I don't even care hey. about the game. It's all gonna be settled at the script. Okay. That's when it happens. I'm ready. Yeah? I hope you're ready for a big guy from West to sit on your face. Oh, I'll take it. I'll let him sit all over me and I'll throw him down. Just yeah? like I'm gonna throw you down. I'll see you on the icy court field. All I'm right. gonna throw up in your skates after the game. I don't know if I should've said that. Yeah, that was really bad parts. It was weird, too. Yeah. That's okay, you know what? Go ahead. Okay. I believe in you, Rick. Wow, Rick. You're the man. Ricky! We appreciate you. That's why we do the 2468 thing. Yep. We you do appreciate you. And we know we get raw, young, but like raw, a, just a nice. Raw. Raw, 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 Rick. Feel it, guys. I'm okay. starting to believe in myself again. Okay, buddy. Let's. All right, careful with the hat. You know, Maybe no, okay. we, we can pork Sports. Sports. Let's go, Dwayne. Yeah. Woo! Let's go back to that My bonfire. <laughs> They're serving bat legs. Coach, coach, wake up. Why oh, is he sleeping he's so heavy? Oh, I don't understand. He sure does look peaceful, though. Yeah, he's so cute. God, we miss you a whole lot, coach. We all do. We always talk about you all the time and, and all the lessons that you taught us. And You know what my greatest memory with coach was? Tell him. Oh, you remember? When Coach locked me into that dungeon under his house for oh. like six weeks. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. With That's only like a hockey coach. puck, a baseball glove, and three gallons of Gatorade just to keep oh. my body moving. Oh. Yeah, You're... I remember uh, on the walls he had something written in this just thick red substance. Sports over life. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I've never forgotten about that. Yeah. No, he has taught me the true meaning of life. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. I, I get it. Sports over life. East over life. Biggest East spirited man ever. He, he taught us cheerleaders where cheer came from. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're more than just the spirit line. You're the spirit universe. Oh man. I think I think he's saying something. What? What? East. East. Oh. East. 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 Oh my God! Oh. oh, coach. Oh, coach. 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 I'm so sorry. Oh, this is my fault. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have.
had that terrifying heart attack in the middle of the field and terrorized all the children who attended the game that day. Not me. Now look at you. Just a big old vegetable. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. That's too bad. I can't handle it anymore. I'm so, so stressed with the loss and the scrimmage coming up now and the scholarship. I just... Coach, I'm going to win it for you. I promise, Coach. I'm going to get you back up. Don't you worry. I'll be back. Hey, Birdie. Uh, hey. Drive me to the back of Gibson's room. What's going on? Oh, is he here? No, no, just school's going on. Take a seat. Oh, yeah. In fact, there oh, you go. Here we go. We got stuff to talk about, babe. Yeah, I haven't Don't seen you in a while since the game. You're kind of flaking. Are you supply surprised? Uh, well, a little. You know, we were going real steady before. Yeah. Porkin. It was good porkin. Good pork. Great pork. I'd say medium well. You know, a little rare. Especially now. Yeah, well, I just I just want to see, you know, maybe we could talk a little. Uh, how, are you, how are you feeling after a visiting coach, you know? I'm getting so stressed. It's yeah. just like my veins are popping out of my face. I mean, uh, it's just with the game and with coach and now the scrimmage I set myself up for, I don't even know what to do anymore. Okay, 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 yeah. You've posted a lot of Facebook statuses and well, tweeted worried. about it. <laughs> Trust me, if anyone knows about tweeting, it's Birdie. <laughs> I know. So listen, I just, I have a little bit of a suggestion. Okay, yeah. Uh, more of a, more of like a obligation. <laughs> okay. To maybe help you relieve some stress. And, and don't freak out. Okay. But your Birdie might be a little, you know, she might fly into some dark places sometimes. Okay, yeah. Uh, what are we, uh... Say hi to Mary Jane. Is that, uh, like parsley? You make oh. that? That's cute. Uh, I know. <laughs> um, why don't you take a whip? Oh, God. Skunky, right? Yeah. Did you get it from its butt? Jeez. Oh. No, no, no. This, these are drugs. Whoa. Yeah, dude, weed. Really what? cool. Whoa, birdie, birdie. I don't know how long we've been going steady, but that's, I don't know if that's for me. I'm, I'm into sports, you know. Just, just hear me out. Hear me out. As the captain of the cheerleading squad, this thing seems so spirited. Really? So spirited. You think so? Yeah, especially this kind, which is a uh, carpet pug pugnancy. That's what oh. it's called. That sounds now, okay, now crazy. Listen. You just you just take a lighter. Okay. I always have a lighter on me. Yeah, you do. I I never figured that out. But that now makes you a know. Lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> and you flick it, and you burn it, and you inhale it, and you're scoring. Go on, yeah. come I, on. I, I don't know, Birdie. So. Flick it, burn it, inhale it, and score like Bert. <laughs> <laughs> Pork, you know what I'm saying? 
Are you breaking up with me? I'm breaking you like the twig I put in my nest. Oh, Bertie, but come on, our, our roots are deep in our tree of love. I mean. <laughs> Just maybe talk to me when you're a winner. Oh, no. What have I done? Hey, Mr. Dubson, I'm here for detention because I lost the game. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're goddamn right. You're here for detention. No, I just. You know what? Um, just shut up. <laughs> I. I was hoping you'd win that game like we always do. Well, so was I. You know, and you blew it. What, do I really deserve detention? I mean, it's not like I went yeah, out of my if, way. If it were up to me, you'd be dead. <laughs> but hey, I'm just a science teacher, so what do I know? Yeah, you can just sit right there. Do I have to do anything? Or? Nope, just sit there. Look straight. Really, uh, really carrying you a new one <coughs> on the paper here. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, Ricky. Uh, what I don't I... want to hear it. <laughs> wow. All-time star becomes an all-time loser. <laughs> Hero to zero. Real quick. That's what they're saying about you. That, that's about me. I'm in the paper. Yeah, no, you, you're you number one. Headline. Oh. Really bad. My, my, my. <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> the winged Icarus falls from the sky. How you doing, Michael? Hey, dudes. What's up? Wet Willie. <laughs> All right, all right. Come Where's on. my thumb drive? I left it in here. Ah, uh, check the bottom. Can't there. find my thumb drive He's anywhere. Using lines too fast. So, uh, you're here to work on your science project? Yes, I am. Right. You know, I needed a lab assistant. Oh, hey. Nothing like old loser face over here for you. Oh, come on, Dubson. Oh, hey. I'm sorry, what was that? No. Dubson, stay out of this. Nothing. Don't need you to fight my battles. How's it going, <sighs> Wonder Bread? Look, my name is Mike Abernathy. I'm, I'm pretty sure you earned the name Wonder Bread with that five loaf you got in there. I don't, I don't have any bread in my backpack. <laughs> Look, Ricky, it's simple. If you're cool with science, I'm cool with you. Want to get down to work? No, I, I'm not the biggest science geek like <sighs> you. Hey, Fred. listen Dunk here, bud. It's detention. You got to do his thing. No, the stormtrooper just wants to stay in line. Oh, come on. He's a conformist. Doesn't want to set himself free with knowledge. Dupson, I'm growing fungus in your vents. I hope you smell it. Oh, it's for a project. That's what it was, dude? Come on. I got to uh, breathe in that stuff. Do I need a gas ring for it? Maybe. <laughs> Look, Rick. Prankster. Science is cool. You know, sports. Uh, oh, yeah. Real cool. Are just basic physics and math. Yeah, that's what they teach us in physics and math, because we're at sports school. I know, and the <laughs> curriculum should really not be that, but. <laughs> I'm not so bad myself. I used to play. I have some information that might knock your socks off. Oh, yeah. What could you tell me that would make <sighs> me like you anymore? Huh? Well, I'm Mike Abernathy. Uh huh. My cool father. Is Lieutenant Mike Abernathy. Oh, military man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And my uncle is Warren J. Abernathy. A hang on. Did the, the my great uncle is Warren J. Abernathy. The agent for Michael Sportsman? Maybe. Okay, hang on, Wonder Bread. Michael Sportsman is hands down the god of sports. He's okay? my godfather. <laughs> You're screwing with me. Mm -mm, no. Yeah, I don't believe But that. Warren J. Abernathy was also a scientist. He was working on a nerve tranquilizer. But he could never get it into vapor form. And that's why they never 
took it in the military to use it in the wars. That's terrifying. I know I can win the science fair and revolutionize what? the world. You have it? That's right. What? Oh, Here geez. it is in an eye drop. Smell it. No, I don't want to smell it. Is it going to knock it? me out? It smells out? like oh, God. frog butt. Oh, God. Why do you know what frog butt smells like? But I just can't get it into vapor form. I don't know how to get water into oh, vapor form. Come on, you dropped your Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> oh, there's an original print, blue eyes, white dragon. Oh. <laughs> get off your high horse. You know, have you tried just shaking it when you put it in? You mean brute strength? No. Yeah, just smash it. Whoa. Yeah, now put it in. All right, come on. What are you doing? Is that that's so much bread? Whoa, whoa! Is that? Hey, don't be spreading that everywhere. Check out what it does. Sit back and enjoy. <laughs> Jesus it, Christ! It dupes it. It dupes. What the hell just happened here? Come here, boy. Uh, you got him. He's a dupes. It's all right. Oh, <sighs> he's just taking it. Hey, he's my favorite teacher. Don't hurt him. That stuff works real well. Hey, hey. Ooh. Thanks, you're not so bad. Yeah, no problem, Mike. You should listen to the new Slipknot's album. <laughs> and the God Smackers. Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out. Uh, yeah. I guess I... Uh, hey, Dupes in, there's a, a fire drill. I'm out of here. Just... Hey, Zach. See the old gym's holding up nice. Yeah. You here for the uh, district practice? District-wide talent scouting. Talent scouting today? That's what I've heard. Why didn't the coach tell me? He'll be here soon. You know what, man? Whatever. That's fine. I'll do great. I've been prepping for this all week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You're the one who didn't know. Cram it, ass baskets. <laughs> all right. So, I'm sure you boys have heard the big news. Talent scouts for the Michael Sportsman Scholarship. Don't look in my eyes. Look at you tell me, you son of a bitch. They're coming. And I didn't tell you because I expect you to be prepared at any given moment. You weren't prepared for that. You had no idea that was coming. You're weak. You ready? I'm ready. You ready for these scouts? I'm ready. I was All right, ready. well, I'm going to bring them in here then. Come on, uh, talent scouts. Hey, boys. Hi. How we doing? Doing well, ma'am. Megan O'Donnell. Hello, I'm Zach. Nice to meet nice. you. Lawrence Twinton. Lawrence. Uh, uh, Ricky. Nice. nice I've I've read about you, Coach. Uh, see you again. Yeah, yeah. How are we feeling? A little jittery. Uh, amped. Amped. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel wonderful. I'm ready to get started. All right. Well, we shall. We're gonna start with an inspection. Oh, Lauren. Show me your wingspan. <laughs> Balanced, symmetrical. Da Vinci Wait. couldn't have drawn him better. Oh. What are you doing, son? Don't waste Twinton's time. You're on Twinton's time! He's almost glowing. That's enough. That'll do. Hey. Get in here! Uh. Don't Come hesitate. On, Ricky. He's unsure of himself. He's obviously very plump. Ricky. Maybe even the plumpest in the league. The eyes of a grizzly bear. But I sense uncertainty in those eyes. I'm finished. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Wow, what a Rough guy. Time. Okay, okay, I'm doing this. Okay, we're gonna start with a few warm-ups. You know, just some simple stuff you've been doing forever. Sport, sport. All right, how about uh, you just give me a couple um, mountain uh, jackers. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. That's good. That's good. That is good. That really nice. That is Fine, Come on, scout. Ricky. Come on, show him what you got, Rick. Oh, Ricky. Where did you learn to yodel? 
<laughs> okay. It's like a breaking down car out here, coach. <laughs> okay. Oh, Are you uh, wasting Twinton's time? You're blowing it, Ricky. You're blowing it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can see the warm-ups are you're probably jittery. Let's just get down to sport. Let's just get down to sport. Yeah. 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 Because oh, you know, we are here to scout you um for the most important scholarship ever. Of all time. I'm sure you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The Michael Sportsman Scholarship. So I want you to pick your weapon of choice, if you will, for sport, and then show us what you got. Quick one. Good. Sign of agility. Mm, yeah. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, stop, stop! He's so good, it's giving me war flashbacks. Go <laughs> so on, why don't you show us what you got, Ricky? Ricky, come on. I taught you better than You know this. what? No. Uh, you know, no, hang on. No. no just one second. Why don't you, you finish up? I'm so No, Rick, you one second. Everyone, what is he doing? I don't know. I heard a lot of stuff about this guy. <laughs> come on, one more. Let's go. Don't waste my time. <laughs> oh. oh. Okay. You know oh, what? God. I can see you're clearly not focused and not prepared. And you know what, Zach? I think you're pretty much a shoo-in for this scholarship. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure, new coach. Yeah, Always yeah. I just can't even I, look at you. You've disgraced our entire <laughs> team. Come on. What's up? Going Wonder Bread. It's Baz. You know what? Why don't you lay off him a little bit, all right? <laughs> oh, the Didn't know there was a Hitler youth meeting. Unite. You know what? He's not that bad of a guy once you get to know him, okay? <laughs> sure. All right, sorry, I'm late, guys. Oh, jeez. Michael, get the hell out of my desk, huh? Don't touch me. What the hell are you doing? You treat me like such a child. <laughs> yeah, because you are a child. I'm the teacher here. All right, uh, listen, uh, it's Wednesday. You know what that means? Huge-ass uh, test. Yeah. Oh. Biggest oh. of your life. Oh. Mr. Doobson, you know I switched to the Viking calendar. Yeah. I don't recognize Wednesday anymore. Listen, we're, we're, on the, uh, <laughs> we're on the normal lunar calendar over here. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, literally on everything. Great. I haven't even taught half of it. No, um, Doobson, we don't do anything in your class. <laughs> well, you should be doing something. But hey, I was reading the paper this morning, and you'd be surprised. There's an article about one of our students in here. Please don't tell me it's another one. Oh, it's Ragnar. about the uh, Michael Sportsman scholarship. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Zach. Nice shot, Ricky. <laughs> Such a rube. Oh, you, oh, you're with us now. Oh, I was just going to read a fantastic article about you. Uh, he's his words, not mine. Uh, abs chiseled like Zeus. Ass so fine, men and women weep. That's just uh, that's just an excerpt, but uh, listen, uh, with an article like that, get out of here, man. You don't have to take. That's it. Yeah, you're done. See you, man. All right, thanks, boobs. Yeah. Hey, hit the gym. Boobs, buddy. can I take the test so I can ace it twice? All right, whatever helps you. He doesn't have to take the test. Oh no, he's not a loser. Because well, I won hey, every game. Listen, let me tell you this. Um, when you win a game. You don't have to take the test, huh? I won like 40 before I lost that one, and you still made me take the test. Should have tried harder. Oh, my God. Not my problem. Not my problem at all. All right, I'm going to go uh, squeeze the lemon. You guys uh, take the test, all right? Sound good? All right. Don't even try to cheat off me. You know what? Can I Shit. Can I borrow a pencil? Whatever. Put it in your red bag. Sorry. It's all right. Thanks again for helping me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No problem. 
cool. Yeah, run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back. Okay, man. Take it easy. Ricky, like, yeah. remember, no matter what happens, at least you have integrity. Yeah. Oh, Zach, sup? What are you doing here? Just, um, poison the lizards. <laughs> hey, well, get your reptilians out of our way, because we're about to have a scrimmage. Yeah, maybe I'll put them down your pants. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, you better be ready. Hey, Birdie. Hey, Gunther Wonderbread. <laughs> Did you check your locker this morning? <laughs> yeah. Was that you? That no. left all of those. All right, guys. No. <sighs> Let's get this game on the road. Oh, I see you brought your girlfriend there. Huh, Zach? Yeah, What's going, this sweetheart? Is, this I'm is Charleston. Fine, no. He likes to play video games late into the night, just like we used to do. Oh, really? yeah? Yeah. Don't even help me. Camping in his back you know what? Too. That's Rick fine. I'm taking you both down. Boys, that's right here. Enough. I don't condone this. But as the announcer of the school, I felt I should be at this scrimmage to make sure nothing bad happens. Before we start, Ricky, you don't have to do this. I have to do this. And also, right? Charleston's not even that bad. He's got a great video game selection. Well, that's fine. But you know what? He's on the other team, and he's with Zach now. I and I have to teach him a lesson. Mm -hmm. I support you. I brought the ref. It's a scrimmage. It's off the books. He knows. What? He's been taken care of. Oh. Okay, yeah. Do, you, I've, do I have something in my eye? Yeah. No, here. Okay. Uh, will you stop? All right. You guys are great. One friends. on two, your basic prison rules. Ricky has to get the ball in the hoop and get past these two men. Give him the ball, Charleston. He has no teammates, so he'll have to hey. score it through the hoop himself. Ricky. All right. Mm. Hell yeah. See what you got there, Zero? Oh, I've got everything right here for you. No, what do you boys go. got? Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh. I'm using my own tactics against me. Hey, back. Go on. Get out of here. Hey. Right past. Two defensive oh. players are using the crab. Oh, nice. The sand too trap strong. Very yeah. popular. Come on, Ricky. Ricky takes off the keys. He's running scared. He's running back. His Hercules tendon looks injured. Stretching out. He goes for it. Oh, oh, Ricky. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ricky. Yeah, boy. Got the ball in there. Hey, we got this it. time, Zach. Oh, oh. Oh. What did he do? Oh. Where are you? Ah. Ah. Hey, what's your friend? What did you do? Enjoy your loss, Zach. What did you just do? Oh, cheated. She did better than I ever could. It's I won, hey, Zach. Hey, let's get out of here. Yeah, go on. This game's horse shit anyway. You cheated? Pretty, I won the game. Cheating? I won. Uh-uh. I ain't about cheating. Tweeting, maybe. How about it, Mike? I won, man. Ricky. What do I go say when I visit the grave of Warren J. Abernathy now? You tell him we won. I tell him that my best friend, my only friend, used his invention for evil. <laughs> you cheated, Ricky. Mike. That wasn't winning. Sorry. That was right? pathetic. Come on, man. You get away! Apart. I want my Digimon DVDs back. <laughs> Mike, come on. Dang it. Oh, oh, God, I'm so tired from all the stress. Maybe I'll just nap. Hey, 
Ricky? You really blew it, didn't you? Michael Sportsman? That's right. The greatest oh. sportsman of all time. Oh. Ali Scoop? Oh. Well, what are you doing here? I was watching when those talent scouts came. Oh no, you saw that? You were awful out there. I know. You just flopped around like a retarded trout. You should have bought them prostitutes. That's what I did. Wait, prostitutes? Ricky, I'm here to tell you that I'm proud of you for cheating at that scrimmage the oh, other day. Oh, I hurt those guys. I don't know. You no, should... if you're not cheating, you're not trying hard enough. What? Here's my real story, the uncut version. It's not what I heard, Michael Sportsman. Listen up. I was a cook in World War I. My whole infantry was malnurtured because I cooked myself big fancy meals and served the soldiers grilled oats. Oh. And when I got home, they all called me a hero. I just sat back cackled at the food. That's not the verse you hear in the media, is it? No, that's terrible. That's because I bought all of the journalists' prostitutes. Oh, Mike Sportsman, no. Anyway, I got back from the war. Here's how the story goes. My grandpa was senile. So I moved back home to be with him. Then I tricked him into making me the only heir in his will. Oh. Then I iced that sucker's ass what? by pouring strychnine in his coffee. Oh. With a smile, I collected the insurance money. Oh, no, that's just awful. You killed your dad? And I used that skrill to start the San Francisco sportsman. But you, but you kinda know the story from here. Yeah. I was a man back then. I won. Every game. And when I didn't, I used my mob connections to fudge the books and then intimidate the league. <laughs> but all across the nation, I became an inspiration, a standard of greatness that can never be achieved. <laughs> I won the World Bowl, the Super Series, and the Champions Cup. I was the best damn tackler that Wimbledon had ever seen. I don't know, Michael Sports. All this is true that I'm just having some fun. Hey, Ricky, remember how they used to call me the Ape on Fire? Yeah, that was your big nickname. Well, the real reason they called me that is because before every game, I'd sneak into the San Francisco Zoo, okay. kidnap a gorilla, drench that puppy in gasoline, uh. light him on fire, oh. and set him loose in the game. What? And then when all the players ran scared, I checked in and scored as if nobody was guarding me. Oh. It got trickier when things were televised. Huh? So before, when in the 70s and 80s, I would have a party before the game, Drug everyone out on date rape drugs, which oh I God. order by the sack, uh, and then inject a nerve tranquilizer with help of my agent, Warren J. Abernathy. Oh, no. Great man. That's what I did. Yeah, that's exactly what you did uh, with my godson. I am just beaming with proudness today. Uh, You're all becoming cheaters. You're all becoming sportsmen. I love you all. It's like looking in the mirror when I look at you. Oh, no. Yes, it is. You're like Michael Sports. That's what I always wanted, Michael Sports. Now, you're just a I am so proud of you. You understand my golden code. That no ethical price is too expensive for a winner. You're on your way. You're gonna be a fantastic sportsman. What it takes, you're just like me.
Hey, coach. Thought I'd stop by and say hi, you know, surprise you. You look healthy today, you know, not so much drool. Coach, I, I didn't drop by just to say hi. I, there's something I got to tell you. I I cheated, Coach. I did it, and I feel awful. And, and I don't know what to do now. I, I just don't feel like myself. I might just think about quitting sports altogether. You know, just go to culinary school where I'll be happy and make pancakes and not lose. Never a loser, coach. Well, now you're a vegetable and life support. I just don't know what to do. You know, if you want me to pull it, you just blink. You just drool and blink and blabber. <laughs> you sure, coach? All right. Don't pull that plug. <laughs> C -c -c coach? Yeah, oh me. my god! Me. Coach, you're alive! I was about to kill you! I, even if you didn't pull the plug, I, I wouldn't have died. What? You're on life support. No, I was just sleeping. You were, coach, it's been weeks. Yeah, it has. It's been a very restful week. Oh. But god damn it, Ricky! You cheated? Coach, oh no. What the hell is wrong with you? Coach, I'm sorry. I just 35 goddamn years. 35 goddamn years, I, I told you. You play with sportsmen like Conda. Coach, I'm sorry. I told you. Coach, I didn't mean to. And, and now that you're back, you know what? I don't need to cheat. And I don't need to quit. Sports used to mean something. I know, Coach. That's what you told us. Used to mean something. You know what? It still can. If you're back, we can get rid of new coach and bring you back and... You know what, we can win, coach. I'll keep playing if you come back. You really think you can do it, kid? I know I can. I hate you right now, but God damn it, I respect you. Oh, coach. Oh, coach. Oh. Let's, Let's go, go win. win. Let's oh. win that game. All right, Ricky, we uh, we got a tough one out there. All right, uh, we got a tough team. Play plays real dirty, mm -hmm. real dirty. Um, I can't stress this enough, but I don't want you going back to cheating. Okay, Which I won't. If you as hint at cheating, I will. I'll go back in the cola. <laughs> don't, won't hesitate. That was the best two weeks of my life. I promise, <laughs> but coach. But goddamn it, you better. I won't do it for you. you play like a man. All right. All right, you bunch of ball sacks. I'm back. Back in the West, baby. Back from your nightmares. Hey, Zach, you have any dreams of me while I was gone? Yeah, I dreamed about you. Yeah? You were, uh, you were a lollipop. Yeah, I was licking you. Yeah? yeah. Licking me real good? Yeah, you were a banana How was lollipop. I? Was I a sweet lollipop? You were a banana. I didn't like it. Oh, not a very tangy banana at all? Just no. a sweet, mushy banana lollipop? Yeah, it wasn't yeah, good. Yeah, it just kind of got your mouth all sticky and gummy and gross and stuff. I didn't like stuff. it. Yeah, yeah, see, that's what you got to do to the other team. You got to get in their mouths. You got to get on their tongues. You got to make them feel all gross inside until they hate themselves. And you eat your opponent. <laughs> all right, Ricky. Now listen, that new coach is a real penis breath. All right. That's harsh, coach. Hey, it's the truth. I've come across a lot of them in my days of coaching, and he's number one, penis breath. <laughs> so listen here. You're still going to play fair, all right? That's You're right. going to play real good. I don't want any dirty moves mm -hmm. coming from you. It won't happen. Don't even give the other players any dirty looks. Okay. You got that? I got it, coach. All right. That's what I like to see. Zach. 
You poisoned the team water supply? Yeah, I got it good. Got some rat poison from Home Depot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, rat poison in the water. They're, they're going to be dropping out like flies out there. But when they drop, I don't want you to let up on them. No, you get stomping. You get stomping, you break those legs. I don't okay. want them moving for okay. the rest of their life okay. after this game. You see, okay. see, that coach they got over there, yeah, he, he's got balls for breath, all right? He's okay. a real ball breather, all right? Okay. You know that guy. You've yeah. been under his coaching. Yeah, I smell so, that. Yeah, you smell that breath when he gets up in your face all close. Musky. Man, just dangling there. It's musky. Yeah, yeah, that. So just stomp on them as they are on the ground. Devour your opponent. All right, Ricky, uh, you hydrated? Oh, yeah. I'll uh, drink some more. Oh, oh, drink yeah. all of our water supply. Okay. Drown it. I, all right. I will chug it off. You, you better be hydrated because this game's going to be intense. All right. Um, they, got, uh, they got Zach. You play with him. You know yeah. exactly what he's like. So uh, he's a slow guy, a uh -huh. little bit retarded. Uh, <laughs> but, hey, he's a hell of a sportsman player. Oh, yeah. So you know what? You just got to beat him on the outside. All right, you can do it. I've seen you do it before. None of that cheating bullshit. All right. Now, Zach, when you see that son of a bitch Ricky out there, what are you going to do? What are the big three you're going to do? I'll probably go for the toes first. Toes first. Out of boy. Get him on his knees. Yep. yep. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'll circle around back, slap him right in the back of the head. Yep. Get him on the back of the head. And then I'm going to eat him. Out of boy. Eat your opponent. Ready for the big game. Strap on your helmets. Fill up the Gatorade. Race and start your engines. Get ready for the big game. Anything can happen. Crowd going insane. Bleachers full of passion. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to the main event tonight. East faces off versus West in a historic winning pit night. Old brothers, Fallen, now foe. Are you ready? As always, the rules of the game. Get down in the defensive stance, big boy. Oh, 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 play. Grand slam the quarterback, so you can't steal third while the street. If they hit a grounder over the net, go drop the picks and keep the ball in your line. Then score a field goal. Punt the rock from the three point line. Punt the rock from the three point line. Be abrasive, be, be abrasive. Go team, go. Fight that puck. The barbarian's game of strength, the gentleman's game of wit. The umpire pulls out the red card to tally up all the hits. The coach's game of pride, the cheerleader's game of glitz. The band plays the theme as the ref shot puts the disc. Just a few more rules and we'll get this match on the way. Say ya! An alley oop to start the half. Five more innings in the match. If they drop the knobby eye, block the lineman with the catch. If you pass the 15th post, you're the MVP of sport. Girls will love you most. Hey man, all the girls will want the pork. All the girls will want the pork. Grab some rubbers, look alive. It's a par 69! Hustle, strength, steal! You gotta leave it all on the icy court. Gentlemen, any last words before the coin toss?
Rush. I let Charles use your favorite pillow at my sleepover last night. <laughs> Low blow. West, heads or tails? I'll call it in the air. Bold move. Head. Heads. High school West gets to start the game with the ceremonial alley scoop. What a great piece of pageantry, folks. The boys are looking glistened. They brought their body oil tonight. The plump Ricky dribbles for a second, going for the alley scoop. And scoop, a boop, and the game begins. They go off to their first lap. Let's go! Tonight they're racing through a big cornfield. The corn is 10 feet tall, dodging scarecrows. And our first player on the stage is Ricky. He follies the tennis ball. That's the ref. Oh, it's good, it's looking good. And he made it, that's gonna qualify him to score a point. Come on, the ref will put up the hoop now. And be guarded by our captain of East, Ricky. And he fakes him out. He took karate for two years, folks. All right, now they go off to the third lap. This time they're being hunted by badgers through the forest. Oh, and Ricky emerges and grabs his bat, his chosen weapon. Come on, Ricky, let's go. He's gonna go it through the field post. Can he make it, folks? It's a nail biter, and it's good. That's gonna qualify him to score. We erect the hoop now. He gets guarded by Zach. Can he go in to tie the match? Come on, Ricky. Fakes him out, folks. Little known fact: Zach is coming blind. And he got confused. Now we're gonna take a timeout so the players can get some stretching. But folks, as you know, the game is never over. Even when they're taking the time out, there is danger afoot. The Red is also the goblin keeper of the shells. And if he can put the shells on both the captains at the same time, they'll be disqualified for the next inning. Look at them. They're too caught up in their own. Oh, jeez. Oh. Wait. Hey! That's a histrionic display of expression. You're out for the next inning. With no other players on the field, the coaches will have to come slug it out for a round. Old coach versus new coach. New coach is a very on, meaty man. hitter. Old coach is about to snap. He's very light. Come on, all all boy. Man. Little classic Woo! slapping like the Spartans did it. The Greek oh. game. That's right. Oh. But oh. He got him in the corner. He's cornered. Oh, he's cornered. Oh. It's enough. The decision on the field is it's a tie, a green tie. Two perfectly opposing forces. The game is at a complete tie. It's all going to come down to the last quarter. The two captains facing off one on one in a gladiatorial style inning. They grab their shields. Ricky grabs the white shield of truth, while Zach grabs the black shield of deceit. Come on, Ricky! Hey, go. You can feel it. You can feel their anger. Zach uses his anger, while Ricky uses his character. And one, two, three, four, we have a thumb war. This looks good for Ricky. He's the plumpest player in the league. Takes him down. This is going to qualify Ricky to make one last shot. If he makes this shot, he ends the game. Now, folks, it's a nail biter. Because this is, vu, Ricky. It seems that Zach on the field is yelling deja vu Ricky because this is the same exact shot that he missed last week to lose their first game in history. But if he can nail it, he comes back on top and will surely be a shoo-in for the Michael Sportsman Scholarship. Zach, I'm going for it. Folks, he's going for it. Spin and he goes in the oh. <laughs> And Ricky's won the match! <laughs> oh! The ref is reviewing the play to see if it was all fair, if it all checks out. Yeah! Woo! That's my boy, Ricky. That's Dude, my boy. Megan O'Donnell just left. She told me to give you this. Oh. 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 Woo! On you, but I always believed. Not, oh. Not once. Nope. That was beautiful.
in a very flamboyant and dangerous celebration here on the icy court field. Well, that's okay. You know what, Zach? I'm sorry. And Ricky, I forgive you. We're Zach Now we do not got this. We got this. Just play like a team. We got this. We got this. And now I won the science fair, and now my head is spinning. We're the best team around, are we? Got this. Yeah, got this. He's intoxicated from winning. That's why he stumbled at his words. That is a truth that never dies. One, two, three, four. Let's see if you got some more. Five, six, seven, eight. God is good. Sports are great. Forty-two, two, forty, blue. Cow goes blue. Ghost goes blue. Fight, 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 team, fight, fight for your right to parlay. Yeah. Down, up, up, down. Clap the blue team, but don't drop the crown. Win, win, win. Win team win! Two, four, six, eight! Who do we appreciate? Ricky, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Something show. And thus concludes another together devised mayhem and comedy. Before we leave tonight, I just wanted to tell you guys about I wanted to tell you guys about a few things that we have coming up right now. We have a show next week, as we often do here at Parliament Tempe. I be at the same maybe slightly earlier time next week, but it'll be Wednesday night nonetheless. Our show is called Well, I'll tell you what it's about first, I guess. It's about a family. A man who takes his family on a camping trip to recreate the greatest vacation of his entire life, the time he spent at his grandfather's cabin in the woods. He says, family, let's recreate this together. And they arrive and they find the cabin has burned down. And they say, you know what? We'll just go through with the camping trip anyway. It's called Cabinless Fever, and it's going to be awesome. As always, you can find tickets and information for upcoming shows on our website, as well as trailers. We shoot a trailer every week for every show we make. So if you're not checking that on our website or our YouTube, that's a big mistake. And one last final thing. It's going to come before you know it. Our season this year is running 10 shows long. Our 10th show is going to be a real humdinger. So I want to start talking about it now. It's called The Wild West, Wild Again. It's going to be here on August 18th and it is going to be a real spectacle. We expect a live band, live music, live props, live stock, maybe, and a whole lot of good time and fun. Everyone, thank you so much for coming tonight. Drive safe, I would love to see you here next week. We appreciate you. Oh, and real quick, a round of applause for our crew, please. These guys work really hard to work the cameras and tech every week. They are wonderful.